So there we go again. Let's analyze uh, Vladimir Putin, okay? You could, you could, you could even go back to uh, DSM three, DSM four, DSM five, and believe that eventually you can come up with a mental disorder in order to analyze uh, Putin. But that is not going to be the answer, okay? There is no such a thing as schizophrenia, psychosis, uh, schizo uh, affective uh, disorder. There is no DID former uh, uh, multiple uh, personality there is nothing like that okay uh, there is no depression make no mistake there's no depression major depression uh, going on in in his mind what what is going on it's uh, it's a huge revenge okay follow me this is very important what I just mentioned is it's it's crucial to understand uh, the mental uh, diagnosis of uh, Vladimir Putin okay of his mind, of his mind, and so well in his spirit, okay? So what is going on? What's going on with uh, this guy? Yeah, yeah, you can come up uh, and, and claim that he's a psychopath. Yeah, there is... There's some traits that I could uh, agree with you that eventually he could, he could become sort of a, a psychopath. But it's, that is not the answer either. When it comes to Vladimir Putin, you gotta go back a little bit further down okay and it's gonna be uh, uh, where uh, I would say uh, Sigmund Freud came up with uh, his own uh, psychoanalytic uh, theories okay it's in it's in his in, in his childhood okay he's looking for revenge what kind of revenge okay uh, he might be like 61 62 60, 64 65 I, 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 I don't know how old he is okay but he is like 65 years old He's not, he's not in his 70s, okay? He wants to show the world what is it that he's able to accomplish, okay? What is it that he is able to achieve? He wants to show, okay, uh, the Western uh, Hemisphere, what is it that he is capable of, okay? And it's not about becoming a threat. It's about becoming who is in control. He wants to be in control. Okay, when it comes to Ukraine, Ukraine is just the beginning, the beginning of his intentions. What he has failed at is that he never, he never imagined and conceived that Ukraine was gonna resist as much as they have resisted so far, okay? He never, never in his mindset, he was gonna eat up Ukraine in two or three days, and maybe in just 24 hours, okay? He thought, he thought that Zelensky was gonna give up within the, the first 48 hours, okay? Well, he was wrong, and not only he was wrong, the Ukraine people is not willing to surrender, okay? So he is dealing with a huge, huge, huge impediment, okay? The Ukraine people, they are about uh, like 40 million people, 40, 40, 42, 44, 43 million people. That's a lot of people, okay? That is not just 5 million people, 10 million people, it's 40 something people, that's a lot of people, okay? And if you, if you want to, if you want to put in a joke, 44 million people, then you're in trouble if you can't, because that's a lot of people that eventually, okay, will be able to hurt you. How is it that these people are going to be able to hurt you? Not within the Ukraine people. And that's where the problem begins when it comes to Putin. Putin is looking for revenge, okay? In his mind, it's all about revenge. It's a revenge that comes up from his childhood, okay? And it's been all the way through his uh, years at the, key, uh, at the KJ, K, KGB, okay? He has always been looking for revenge. It's a revenge with a word. It doesn't have to be with France or the UK or Spain or America or Canada or Mexico. It's just revenge. 
it's all about revenge so what is the solution there is one solution and one only solution in the beginning I thought I gotta apologize that by pleasing him he was gonna back up and then back out turns out he didn't he didn't he didn't make that move okay so at this point what we as a world as a seven point seven seven point eight billion people in this planet on this planet earth we have to come come up with a solution there is only one solution the solution is within his own russian people however there is a step prior to that solution that has to be put in place and what is it that i'm talking about this is what i mean so far the pentagon has considered that the best solution is just to stay away from both on the ground okay this is what they have come up with if we stay away if we just take away his privileges if we suspend all kind of negotiation with Russia we're gonna be able to restrain part of uh, their uh, potential when it comes to dealing and negotiating with the world and they are gonna start up to back out turns out it didn't happen so so far the only solution it's a military solution how is it gonna happen he is looking for revenge his problem is that he has okay when he imagined himself imagines himself he is sort of a god so we're talking about grandiosity okay when it comes to a psychopath there is always a hint of grandiosity okay so he believes he is going to be able to conquer at least part of the world not the whole world but at least part of the world and show the rest of the world who he really is now these kind of people only deal with someone his own weight and height so the only way to show him that he is not what he believes not that he claims he is what he believes he is I'm, 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 I'm gonna say that again not who he claims he is but the one who he believes he is he's gonna back up how is he that he's gonna back up the US has to put boots on the ground on Ukraine with NATO yeah with NATO I could I agree with NATO but it has to be the US and it doesn't have to be a big ass army it has to be just soldiers putting boots in the ground on Ukraine okay that is the only solution the minute he sees the American soldiers on Ukraine with all the SSS and the aircraft and the, on the American aircraft on all the American bases ready to fire he's gonna back out why you will say no 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 Miguel he's not gonna back out he's gonna threaten with a nuclear bomb okay no what is it that I said in the beginning the solution is within his people and I'm gonna add this up his inner circle it's not like Adolf Hitler Adolf Hitler had his inner circle with him at least in the beginning he doesn't have he doesn't have his inner circle with him they are not they're just scared scared of him scared of being mutilated and nickelated okay and even lynch if they come up with a word that goes against Vladimir Putin phraseology okay they are scared of him 
extremely scared of him. So they are not with him. In reality, his inner circle is not with him. The Russian people, I would say, clearly, I would say the 75% of the Russian people is not with him. The minute they see bits in the ground, American bits in the ground, on Ukraine, he is going to back out. He is going to back out. He won't have, he won't have the courage to deal face to face with the American army. I'm telling you now, that is the only solution. And make no mistake, Biden might be about to make that decision. Anytime soon, he's going to make that decision because that is the only solution. Putin is not going to back up if he doesn't see someone his own size and weight in front of him. The minute he sees somebody who is going to be able to take him out, he's going to back up and then he's going to back out. But why? Because he's not afraid of the American army. He's afraid of his own people. He's afraid of his own circle. He doesn't have any mental disorders, okay? He is fine. He's just fine. He is just someone who believes he is a, se a, se a, se a semi-god, okay? It's all about grandiosity and some uh, psychopathy, okay? But it's not that much. Everybody in the world with 7.8 million people, we all have a little bit of a... a uh, a trait of psychopathy okay so don't go around telling people you're this you're you're such and sit no no you're, you're you're don't say that if you don't know what you're talking about okay so he's not sick he's not mentally ill he's fine he's just fine okay he just needs to see somebody his own size dealing with him oh now you're gonna come up hey, hey Miguel He's gonna thread us with a nuclear bomb. Or he's gonna start up, he's gonna press the button, and he's gonna destroy New York. That is not gonna happen. He's gonna try to thread the American army and the NATO, but in the end, the minute he sees somebody his own size and his own weight, he's gonna back up. Okay, how is he gonna back up? It's gonna be his own people that are the, the ones who are gonna push him over against the wall, okay? And then, what's gonna happen? His own people, his own people are, the, are gonna be the ones who are gonna lynch him up. Make no mistake, it's gonna be his own people are, and his inner circle, the one who are gonna betray him, in this case, it's not a betrayal, okay? It is what it is, they have to betray him in order to come up with a peace within the region, okay? So Putin has uh, his day's number, okay? I believe the only solution is, at this point, is just to come up with the boots on the ground, okay? Not that much, just enough to make him understand that if he makes another move, he's gonna be taken out. He's gonna be taken out, okay? So uh, that's what I see coming up. I believe uh, Biden is going to make a decision. He's going to he's going to put boots on the ground, and that's going to be the next move. That's going to be the Pentagon move. <coughs> I see this war last in at least three more weeks. Uh, Biden is going to take a few, well, like about uh, ten days, maybe ten more days, and he's going to put boots on the ground because it, uh, that's the only solution to take him out of the out of planet Earth. I believe Vladimir Putin's days are number. He's going to be killed, he's going to be lynched, or he's going to commit suicide before being uh, trapped. Just like Adolf Hitler, he's going to commit suicide. But he's not going to be the people taking care of him like Adolf Hitler had. These people are going <laughs> to throw him on the streets and burn him out. I can assure you that. So he stays her number. He stays her number and it's gonna be America. Again, America, America the beautiful. It's gonna be America the beautiful. The one who's gonna end this war. And for good, for good of humanity. This is Miguel, South Beach, Florida. God bless you all. God bless America.